lap 18 we are nearly there at the end of this high ass wing heroic race so just like the Korea one we have been hard grinding we had like pretty much no opponents again but i guess we will do our spin here and see if we get lucky or not just to skip the end of this wouldn't really matter anyway we can finish it off oh and there we go a 90 a 90 right right at the end of this event so there we go plus 500 orbs for this dragon lap 18 is done so we're uh, very grind heavy we still had like 24 hours left to be honest i did start gemming quite a bit just because i wanted to be over with uh, but you know probably about 200 ish maybe 250 ish gems again use this time not too bad really uh but easy clap is all i have to say about that but the other thing that we have today is we do actually have offers on for the scorched wood thank goodness but also kind of bad because this is incredibly expensive which is times five scorched wood guaranteed but it is 180 gems and 180 gems is a lot because the um collection that we would be looking to finish off is this one and in this collection we could get 120 orbs of the dragon plus legendary jokers and overgrowth but of course, if we spend that many gems to get 120 orbs of Ashwing, it's not going to be the greatest. But you know what they say, YOLO. And, uh, you know, I always go kind of crazy on these collections. So I'm going to do it while you're here, uh, just because we might as well. We put in the effort to collect all of this stuff and we need five more Scorchwood. I'm going to do it. Is it the smartest decision ever? Probably not. But let's see what we get. There is a wonderful Scorched Wood, three, four and five of them and that is collection complete free to play so you know <clears throat> we have managed to do like most of these ones for these new heroic collections so they are doable free to play they are very grind heavy however and obviously we spent a few gems at the end here but let's see what we get you're not gonna give me 600 120 of course but at the same time at least we get the dragon we get some jokers and we get the other dragon and these bonus 120 even though it's the lowest drop we could have got, at least together with the other orbs that we get, we will now have tons and tons of orbs to use. The only thing is now we need to be kind of careful with our gems because we will be getting the dragon unlocked and we will have heroic combat quests and then we do have heroic quests as well. So we're going to get high ass wing leveled up, get some free gems back, get some orbs back. And at the moment... We haven't even started with, of course, any of the other stuff at the moment, but we currently have how many orbs? A thousand. We already have over a thousand orbs for high ass wing. So uh, this should be another quite easy E5, really. So even though I know that a lot of people complain about high ash wing because of the elements, I would rather have the dragon and have another really quite high level heroic to you so that's why i'm going for high ash wing i would like to have a dragon rather than not but already having a thousand orbs pretty damn good so i'm i'm happy with how we did even though i wish that that final collection item cost would have been a little bit cheaper than 180 but it is what it is this is why you should always make sure you've got some spare gems that you can spend at the end so that is heroic race done for me i don't know how you did i know a few people that obviously got to lap 18 as well uh, of course beyond lap 18 there's still some nice rewards but you know nothing quite as tempting as up to lap 18 here but free orbs free leveled up heroic and of course we've also got the really really sick looking skin i actually quite like it like look at that the gold plated and he becomes a red demon like a full red demon i quite like it so that is that Aside from that, we do have, I think it's an Empower Happy Hour, isn't it, at the moment? Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't really have much to Empower at the minute. We've got our Bolt that's sitting at E5, but, I mean, E4, ready to go to E5 if we decide to grind it. But the other thing that we've got going on at the moment is this Wizard's Hollow for Revival Karma. And I don't actually have Revival Karma yet. So, it would have been tempting to spend gems on this one because... On top of us having Revival Karma as an option, we've also got a Mythical Egg Chest, and we also have a Gem Chest, which means that you could, in theory, you know, spend some gems, get some gems back, but uh, kind of difficult to collect up to 11 runes of each of these, so it's probably not going to be successful for most. 
but you might as well give the hollow a chance anyway so if you get really lucky maybe you'll get some free gems but maybe you will get the dragon for free you never know until you give it a try so that's why i'm doing it anyway even though i don't really want to spend any gems i'll spend five gems but i'm not going to be spending really more than that like there we go wizard already i'll give it a five but we have to be careful with our gems at the moment like i said do not want to be wasting it and then not be able to get those quests done because they are coming up very very shortly but <clears throat> we get to gamble a little bit we will have a tower event coming up very soon with a dragon so be on the lookout for that but tower events are super chill super easy anyway it's not like heroic race grinding and there we go we got screwed over it's fine i'm quitting out of that but good luck if you are going for revival karma you know, it is still a karma at the end of the day, even though it's another flame primary, just like Mr. Asswing. But it's still a karma and you can still use it in certain uh, arenas. So still a dragon that you may want to use. So there is that. Outside of that, I guess we will just start chillaxing at this point. Because again, we have just been on a constant grind. And plus, we are going to be having the High Corrupted Time Race coming up. Now, I know that a lot of people that would have been considering whether they should gem for this collection, for instance, to finish it off, they might be thinking, well, if High Corrupted Time Race is coming on the 20th of December, then maybe I should just save those 180 bonus gems. And I can 100% understand that. Uh, I just, I, I'm a sucker for quests and getting all of these heroics up. Like, I just, I can't hold myself back. If you've ever seen my profile, like, it is just full of heroic race dragons now i just cannot hold myself back this is my life now it's every new heroic and duo destruct and random ass crap coming up left right and center but all the new heroics i just i don't know is is this has become my dragon city you can play the game however you want if you want to go for super meta stuff if you want to go purely for collection but i just these heroic quests are just my thing now i guess so we will keep uh, creating more e4 and e5 dragons and maybe eventually we will just have an entire fleet of e5 heroic race dragons but anyway i'm incredibly sick i'm gonna skedaddle because my throat feels like it is on fire but i do hope that you got everything that you wanted out of these events i hope that your opponents were inactive like they were for me i know some people got screwed over but you know we got a completely free race this time not that it matters if we're going for 18 anyway but we shall see what next race is like with that high corrupted time. Is it going to be a disaster? Is it going to be easy clap like high occult? Well, only time will tell.